Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within on the Valkyrie playthrough. Today, after that extremely long battle at that battleship, when we cleared out the battleship at, uh, at China, today we're gonna do a bit of a calmer mission. We're gonna do a simple abduction site in uh, India since the people there seem to be in need the most. So uh, I brought in our squaddy Eileen the Crow for this so we can level her up a bit as well to uh, have a bit more variation in the soldiers we're going to use. So let's launch this abduction site. Touching down. Begin. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Looks like We've a gas station. We've got several reports indicating that the Operation aliens have burning up the fire. Ooh, fancy music. So this is this might be one of my uh, more favorite maps. Shouldn't I have to say that, but because now it's gonna go horrible. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Yes, as always. Out there, people. So as always, we're gonna use Jessica first to uh, scout ahead a bit. Uh, maybe even check out the side of the building. Although I might not want to do that, so just go to the front. Yeah, target. there we go. Two floaters. Okay, so we can see both of them with the sniper, which is good to start with. They're not on Overwatch, so might even let Eileen take a first shot at those. If I stand over here, does she see anything? Yeah, oh, and she even has a flank shot. So Eileen, how will you do on this one? Kill it, please. 82 in the face! Thank you. So, um, only one left, which makes this pretty easy, I think. The other one that should have a promotion is either uh, Jessica herself, although I don't really like the aim percentages on that shot. So let's try with Texas. Also 66. Well, doesn't hurt to try. We won't miss all our shots. We still have the, the sniper with the 95% shot, so uh, let's give Jessica a try. 63. And also a hole in the sky. Um, there had, there was actually an easier way to kill her uh, that floater with Jessica, because I could have used... What the fuck is that floater doing? Um, that's not normal. Okay then, uh, let's keep Ruby over there, so let's try Weiss now, 82, goodbye, X-ray neutralized. Uh, and maybe I'm gonna put, hmm, I'm gonna put Ruby a bit closer I think, although I don't want to trigger anything else at this point. So maybe put her behind the car for starters. And then let's move Blake up to right next to the Mac. And hunker down, Ruby. No melt canisters visible yet. There should be one over here according to, uh, to Jessica. So maybe we'll start moving in that direction. Although we do get a good view of the rest of the, the building when we go that direction so first off let's check the rest of this building the rest of the side of the building um, moving to position and let's just slowly move everybody up solid copy um, might want to put Ruby all the way over there Watch in that. the corner was that the right? No. Okay then. Wasn't really the position I chose, but never mind. Blake Headed over there here. Now. And Eileen can move up as well. No, right behind the back. Uh, reload, reload, Jessica. And let's put the rest on Overwatch just in case anything tries to run by. 
We're still pretty good on ammo wise, so. so it's a difficult mission, so I'm gonna guess about eight enemies. We took out two, so I'm gonna put Jessica over here. Yeah, there we go. Two seekers. Okay then. So they do move around a bit. Uh, but a few of our soldiers are immune for strangulation. I think that's the two assaults. So if I move them closer to make them an, uh, a more ideal target, uh, the seeker should go for them. And that gives us an easy shot as well. And let's put Wise back here. And everybody else on Overwatch. If they don't pop up the next turn, I'm gonna probably use the battle scanner again as we did with that UFO one time. To make the seekers visible. I probably won't go for Jessica. Okay, they broke the window. I'm gonna take a guess. So it should be around here somewhere. Let's see if we can't hit any of them. Oh wow, that guy's close. Um, okay then. So the other one is probably inside. I can take a free shot with Blake. So let's do that. Ten damage. Wow. Dead and gone. Dead and gone indeed. So uh, we still Bye, have a lot of turns left. So let's move around a bit. Uh, let's put Eileen back here. Put Weiss next to Eileen. And Ruby. Ah, Ruby used the battle scanner, that's right. Never mind. So Overwatch is again. So even for Jessica, I'm not gonna move her just yet. I'm a bit afraid of what that seeker is gonna do. Okay, they don't care. And that sounded like mutons. So I'm gonna try and move up Texas to see the rest of the building. Yeah, there we go, two mutons. Let's see where they're headed. Oh, they're getting cocky. Uh, how close can I get with the map? I can't punch one. Which is amazing news, because that means a one-hit kill on that guy. Um, and I can run and gun to probably kill the other one. So let's first head in there. And there are probably the last two enemies. So we've got four enemies already. Punch! The Muton. Ammo through the wall. So now we got a muton and two floaters. Most of my soldiers are close enough to do something. Um, which is, of course, I might even do something really drastic and blow up a wall with Eileen. Wait with that. First try and run and gun down. with Texas. Uh, try and get a full cover over here and get a flank shot on. Well, it doesn't count as a flank shot apparently. But this one is right in the open. Might even go for rapid fire just in case. 71 on each shot. That should do it. Thank you, Texas. Okay, one muton. Yeah, not a problem anymore. And one floater left. So now the drastic thing I wanted to do. I'm gonna fire a rocket just to clear this entire wall. Uh, the car will explode probably. And I can't really do anything about that. Although, if I shoot it higher... 
like this. Oh. It's risky. No, I'm still gonna hit the car. But it's my best shot at getting a shot at the other things over there. Please don't miss. So that was some precision rocketing. But that does open up the entire place for uh, any of my soldiers. Um, I can't run and gun close enough to get that back uh, floater over there. And I can get to over here to get a double shot on the Muton. Might even do so from running and gunning, because I can use rapid fire with run and gun, I think. In for the kill. So run and gun. And then... Um... What's the best position to do this in? This is probably not even flanking, so I'm gonna have to put her in a really awkward position to get... Oh no, wait. Could probably do it from here. Might even get to now. Can't get to the floater, sadly. If there are any more enemies, I'll probably set them off by doing this. Location confirmed. But we don't have another option. There we go, flanking the mutant. So if I do rapid fire on that big boy, might even kill it. Oh, he, she kills it in one shot, holy shit. Okay. So now we have... Hopefully, a shot left with uh, any of these two. I'm gonna put Weiss over here. here. Ah, she can't reach. That's... that's a problem. Then the only thing I can really do is smoke... Blake. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I'm gonna put Ruby here to get a, an actual shot when we need to, and hopefully Blake doesn't die. This is gonna hurt. They're not pulling back. He's gonna shoot. Oh, fuck. And I didn't take that thing in account either. So now he's gonna... Oh. Okay. Those are some weird alien tactics. But I'm not complaining. So, Eileen. You see that thing over there, right? You you mind killing it for me? Almost. Oh, um, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna use wise for that. One hundred percent. Goodbye. Nine damage. Should have done that nice. first. And she can fire another time, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go floater hunting. Is that little thing started hiding? I saw him. Where is he? <laughs> Way in the back of the map. Does Ruby have a shot? She doesn't. Which is weird, but Jessica does. It's not an amazing one. It's something I can try. And again, the whole Jessica hasn't been performing really well in this mission. Realigning optics. Realigning optics, yeah. Well, okay, since uh, Blake was in trouble the last time, I might as well use her to get a shot in right now. So let's put her straight in the open. 69. 
We're gonna do rapid fire again. She can. Double 54 shot. And she does it at the first shot. Mission accomplished. Amazing. And that's the end of mission Operation Burning Pyre. Thank you, girls. You performed admirably again. Excellent Any promotions? Work, yes, Blake I'm has been promoted to Colonel. There we go. Heat ammo or Killer Instinct. So, Killer Instinct allows running gun to uh, also grant a 50% increase in critical damage. Which is amazing, but with the rapid fire and the close uh, and personal stuff, I would be a fool to let heat ammo go on this amazing assault. So completely leveled, Blake, and we add heat ammo to the amazing skill tree that she has already. Running gun, opportunist, so no aim at penalty on her reaction shots. Three shots when uh, there's an enemy within four tiles. Rapid fire so she can shoot twice at the same turn. Bring him on, that adds one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. Suppression and heat ammo. Amazing. So, let's see what we got. We didn't blow up any enemies, so we got all the weapon fragments we would need. An extra 10 meld, which will come in handy when we upgrade the mech, when we can upgrade the mech. And two seeker racks. So panic has increased across Europe and across North America. But decreased in India by two. We will be in touch, Commander. We're gonna quickly check what that has of an effect. So France is panicking, the United Kingdom is panicking, and the United States is panicking as well. That's a bit of a problem, the United States, because as we can see, we already have a satellite, so we can't really decrease that. Um, Mm -hmm. I was hoping that it would drop a bit in China and Japan, but it didn't. And now we have a whopping seven countries that we're gonna lose, that we could lose. We can't do anything about the United States, but we can go to Canada and Mexico. I'm wondering if we lose, we can lose the United States when she has, when they have satellite coverage. I'm not really sure about that. Um, we're gonna have to see that by the end of the month, which is only a week away right now. But hey, um, we've got those scientists, so precision lasers are only two days away right now. So we're gonna quickly scan to see if we can't get those. Okay, a small scout landing in Nigeria immediately after an abduction mission. So uh, we're gonna have to deal with that first. So I think I'm going to clear out Blake for now, since she's uh, fully leveled. Uh, it's a small scout, so I should take another rookie. Um, I'm going to take Natasha as well. We might as well blow the entire ship up if we're uh, in there, so we're going to make items available. Edit Natasha, give her the carapace armor, and... Well, maybe even a respirator implant, since she doesn't have a lot of base HP. There we go. So, with this squad, we're gonna go uh, to Nigeria, I think, where the small, another small scout UFO has landed. Should be easy, but we'll see that in the next episode, because I'm gonna take a little break. So, if you like the video, don't forget to like it on YouTube, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel if you. Please, especially if you liked uh, the series so far. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.